the origin of the name Boxer for Boxer Dogs? It turns out that the two are related, despite the fact that it might seem like an accident, a coincidence, or an unrelated homonym to think so at first. So let's start by stating the obvious. Boxer dogs don't engage in side-by-side -side sparring when their owners aren't looking or believe them to be tucked away in beds. Not in that sense. In fact, they prefer to play and defend in this stance, which involves standing on their hind legs with their forelegs ready for battle. When we consider their ancestry, it makes a lot of sense because the grandmothers and fathers of these canine cuties were bred for centuries to take on animals that were much larger than themselves. Among their victims were wild boar, bears, and deer. It is safe to say, however, that boxer dogs have put their vicious past behind them and have maintained their relationship with sapiens. We can understand why they are one of the most widely used breeds today in households and for service work. Despite belonging to the working division of the American Kennel Club, they spend most of their time at home relaxing with their group of sapien companions. So whether you're just a dog lover, or house-sitting a boxer, or are a pet parent with pet sitters on the way, find out everything you need to know about these active hounds in this helpful breed guide. Boxer dog lying on the ground and gazing upward. Characteristics of the boxer breed. German descent. Size, female boxer dogs grow to a shoulder height of 23.5 inches and weigh about 60 pounds, whereas male boxer dogs grow to a height of 25 inches and weigh up to 70 pounds. These sweethearts have a playful, vivacious, and loving personality. They make the ideal furry friend for any active household because they get along well with kids and other animals. Health requirements and grooming, because of their short, slick coat, they only require a weekly quick brush to help with shedding, as well as occasional nail trimming and ear cleaning. They are cunning pooches who require consistent training to follow your rules. From an early age, socialize and train them, and you should be on to a winner. Boxer dogs are fairly active. They used to be hunting dogs and enjoy exercise, walks, challenges, and games. They make a great choice for today's service dogs because of their working history. To keep those sharp minds engaged, boxers enjoy playing games and practicing agility. 10 to 12 year lifespan. Boxers don't have a tendency to bark or howl excessively. You shouldn't have a noise issue with these cuties if you provide them with the proper training and socialization. How do boxers appear? Boxers have square jaws, big, beady eyes, and slightly droopy chops, giving them a sturdy appearance, which they actually have. Their ears, which are of average size and can easily stand on end, are on the shorter side of their snouts. Their short coat conceals their athletic, average-sized frame. Fawn and brindle are the two most common colors of boxers. Both can have white markings. They are known as plain boxers if they have no white markings. Fawn boxers come in a variety of colors, from a light tan to a rich mahogany. tiger stripe brindle boxers are known to have black on top of fawn. There are fawn and brindle boxers that have white markings, some of which are almost entirely covered. They are known as flashy fawn or flashy brindle boxers when their white markings extend to their neck and or face. White markings are most frequently found on the belly and feet. Speaking of the boxer's face, it has a black mask and, on occasion, a white stripe running from the muzzle through the center of the face. Like all dogs, the size of a boxer depends on its age and gender. Male boxer dogs can grow to be 25 inches tall and weigh 70 pounds, while females can grow to be 23.5 inches tall and weigh up to 60 pounds. Characteristics of Boxers These adorable square-jawed dogs have the traditional boxer characteristics of alertness and watchfulness. And it makes sense if you consider their history. See below for a full explanation of this fascinating history. Boxers have square jaws and a strong appearance, but they are extremely sociable dogs. Although they may initially be wary of any new sapien strangers, they are frequently courteous or even friendly to them. Whom do they know and love, too? They are, however, calm, loving, and playful. What about the reputation for aggression? It's not entirely false. Boxers can be aggressive when they feel the need to defend their family and their home, another characteristic that will make sense if you dig into their history below. 
They are loving to those they know well and polite to those they don't. The temperament of boxers. Their prior interactions with humans and other animals will have an impact on their temperament, just like with all of our fluffy friends. How well they tolerate people and other animals will also be influenced by their level and consistency of training as well as their socialization as a puppy. However, boxer puppies are typically playful and friendly towards both old and new human friends, as well as curious about the outside world, like many other fur babies. Meet the parents, brothers, sisters, and any other relatives you are aware of to get a sense of how your new boxer puppy will behave. Although there is no assurance that they will develop in the same way, it can give you a good idea of how they will behave as adults. Boxer Conduct and Training Advice Due to their high level of energy, boxer dogs require a place to constructively channel their urges to go, go, go. They require a lot of physical activity and mental stimulation because they are easily bored. As a result, be sure to switch up their toys, games, and walkies to keep them intrigued and compliant with your house rules. Get your dog involved in dog sports to keep those smart minds happy, ticking, and problem solving as they love to be. They enjoy participating in agility, herding, and obedience training. They make excellent therapy, service, and assistance dogs, as well as search and rescue and drug detection dogs due to their high level of energy and commitment to any task at hand. Early socialization of boxer puppies is essential for a content adult dog, as we've already mentioned. Consistent training is crucial, in addition to encountering various people, animals, and situations. Choose your house rules and follow them, rewarding your dog for developing the good habits you want. Consistency and rewards are essential in puppy training, whether it's done in a local class or at home. Boxer Canine Heritage You're in for a treat with this one if boxer dogs are your new favorite breed and you enjoy learning about the past. Boxers can be traced back to the Assyrian Empire in roughly 2500 BC. The Bullenbizer, a dog descended from Mastiffs and the Bulldog, is the ancestor of modern boxers. The Bulldogs we know and love today were created through breeding and cross-pollination in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, but the Bullenbizer dates back to the Middle Ages. The top big game hunters in Germany at the time, they were hired by noblemen to capture and restrain bison, wild boar, and even bears. In the early 1800s, the nobles' expansive estates were divided up because they were no longer politically popular. The partnership ended when the Bullenbeiser was no longer required as a result of the new circumstances that trickled down to their Bullenbeiser hunting companions. Instead, farmers and butchers adopted them to not only drive, but also guard cattle. Let's proceed to the actual beginning of the breed as we know it today. It all began in the late 19th century when George Alt, a Munich-based breeder, crossed an unidentified breed of dog with Flora, a female Bullenbeiser with brindle tones. A fawn and white cutie from the litter was given the name Lechner's Box. After breeding with Flora, a female named Alt Stecken, also known as a beer boxer, was born from their litter. She was registered as a modern Bullenbeiser. The first boxer dog to be registered in the German stud book was produced by her subsequent breeding with Tom, an English bulldog of a different breed. The dog, Flocky, cute, gained notoriety after winning a competition in Munich. Then, Piccolo von Angerder, his sister, mated with a Legner's box grandchild. They produced a female named Meta von der Passage, who was regarded as the ancestor of the boxer dog. Fast forward to 1894, when three Germans decided to stabilize the breed by entering a boxer in a dog competition in Munich. And the first boxer club was established the following year. The boxer breed gained popularity in Europe in the late 1890s, and the first boxers were imported into the U.S. around 1903. Arnulf Grandens became the first boxer to be registered with the American Kennel Club a year later. Boxers served in the military during World War I as messenger dogs as well as attack and guard dogs. The American Boxer Club, ABC, was founded in 1935 in the interval between World Wars I and II. Then, in the 1940s, as U.S. soldiers brought their sidekicks home with them, their popularity skyrocketed. As they say, the rest is history. Boxer Dog Welfare 
The average boxer dog lives 10 to 12 years, during which time they are playful, loving, and enjoy exercise and problem solving. But in addition to that, some health issues can develop, just like they do with any of our other furry friends. So, if you're considering adopting a boxer puppy, here are some health issues to be aware of with this breed. Hip dysplasia is a condition where the thigh bone does not fit into the hip joint as well as it should. It is common in many dog breeds. You might not see any symptoms of pain or discomfort if your dog has it. But if you do, it will probably manifest as pain and stiffness in your back legs. Hip dysplasia is a hereditary condition that can also be brought on by an extremely rapid rate of growth due to a high calorie diet or by trauma. Some boxers may be able to manage with medication to improve hip function, but others might require a total hip replacement. Hypothyroidism, this condition, which is brought on by an ineffective thyroid hormone, can lead to infertility, obesity, lethargy, and a lack of energy. Another symptom to watch for is a change in fur texture. Hypothyroid boxers can get rough, brittle fur that will eventually fall out and reveal the condition's tough, dark skin underneath. Fortunately, lifelong medication can be used to treat hypothyroidism. Brain tumors, mast cell tumors, and lymphoma are among the cancers that boxer dogs are sadly predisposed to developing. Skin cancer risk increases if your boxer is white or has numerous white markings. Find a dog-friendly sunscreen to shield your pup's ears, nose, and coat from the sun's sometimes harsh rays if they are light-colored. If your dog has been diagnosed with aortic stenosis slash subaortic stenosis, AS slash SAS, which is a very common inherited heart condition in boxers, do not breed them. When the aorta narrows below the aortic valve, AS and SAS occur. This makes the heart work much harder to pump blood throughout the body. It may result in dizziness and occasionally even sudden death. Even though it is an inherited condition, AS slash SAS is discovered once a heart murmur has been identified. Boxer cardiomyopathy, BCM, another inherited heart condition, dogs with BCM occasionally experience irregular heartbeats brought on by an arrhythmia or disorder of electrical conduction. Because it's a hard condition to diagnose, it can result in unexpected death. Weakness and collapse are additional warning indicators. Just so you know, BCM can also go by the names Boxer Arrhythmic Cardiomyopathy, BAC, Familial Ventricular Arrhythmia, FVA, and Arrhythmogenic Right Ventricular Cardiomyopathy, ARVC. Boxer dogs with known BCM should not be bred, similar to AS slash SAS. Demodectic mange is a condition that affects boxers and is brought on by the mother's transmission of a demodex mite to her pups in the first few days following birth. Despite the fact that they typically reside in hair follicles and are harmless, demodectic mange can manifest in your dog if their immune system isn't working properly. The condition comes in generalized, localized, and demodectic pododermatitis forms. Young adults and older boxer puppies are affected by the generalized form, which causes bald spots, patchy skin, and skin infections all over the body. The front legs, neck, and head are all affected by the localized form, which also causes hair loss and red, scaly skin. It can develop into the condition's generalized form if left untreated. Demodectic pododermatitis, the last type of the illness we'll discuss, only affects the dog's paws but has the potential to cause deep-seated infections. The term corneal dystrophy describes a number of eye conditions where the corneal layers become opaque. Even though it's not usually painful, ulcers can form and cause discomfort and pain. The prevalence of deafness is highest in white boxer dogs and dogs with white markings. Gastric dilatation volvulus, GDV, is a condition where the stomach swells with gas or air and twists. GDV is more common in older, deep-chested dogs, like boxers. As a result, the dog is unable to burp or vomit up the trapped air in the stomach. The lack of blood returning to the heart as a result causes low blood pressure, shock, and occasionally even death. This is believed to be more likely in dogs who only receive one substantial meal per day, eat quickly, drink lots of water afterward, and then engage in vigorous exercise. 
an enlarged abdomen, riching without vomiting, and more drooling than usual are warning signs to watch out for. Take your dog to the vet if you notice that they have itchy or scaly skin to find out what they are allergic to. It could be something in the environment or food. On a sofa, a boxer puppy. Maintaining a boxer dog. Boxers are indoor dogs, so they will thrive with stimulating activities and lots of exercise. They enjoy cuddling up inside with their favorite sapient sidekicks because they have short coats. If you're unsure of how much exercise your dog requires, take them for walks or engage them in active play at least twice daily for a total of at least 30 minutes. They will enjoy a long stroll, agility tests, and of course, a traditional game of fetch. Exercise and stimulation are essential for these intelligent, high-energy dogs, as we discussed when talking about how to maintain positive behavior. And keep in mind that early, consistent socialization and training are essential to ensuring that your boxer puppy grows up to be a well-behaved adult dog. What should a boxer dog eat? Make sure the food you select is of a high caliber and suitable for energetic medium-sized breeds. While it may be tempting to give your dog treats as rewards during training, it's important to keep in mind that they can put on weight if they are overfed. Therefore, think of other ways to please your dog, such as petting, playing with their favorite toy, and other forms of fuss. Your boxer dog's diet will change over the course of their lifetime, from puppyhood and adulthood to their later years, just like it does for all of our four-legged friends. Ask your veterinarian for a food recommendation if your pet is about to go through a transitional period. Avoid stuffing all of your boxer's food into one meal a day when it comes to feeding time. Gastric dilatation volvulus, which can be fatal, can be brought on by it. For more information, see our section on boxer breed health. Caring for a boxer dog. Boxers have short hair, which is perfect if you don't have a lot of free time to devote to grooming. They even have a reputation for being tidy dogs who occasionally groom themselves, just like our feline friends. But if you do feel like giving them a little TLC now and then, give their fur a shine by rubbing it with a chamois cloth. Do boxers also shed? Yes, they can shed quite a bit, which is a sad fact. However, if you brush your dog once a week, you should be able to avoid vacuuming up after your dog. Your dog also needs their teeth brushed a few times per week in addition to caring for their fur. If their nails haven't naturally worn down enough, boxers will also require nail trimming twice a month. If you can hear a ticking sound along the floor, your dog's nails need to be trimmed. We know it's cute, but if you can hear it, they're too long. If you've ever owned a dog, you are aware that some can be a little sensitive when it comes to grooming. Because of this, we suggest exposing them to as many grooming procedures as possible while they are still puppies. Make it something they anticipate and afterward reward them with a small treat or their preferred toy. Additionally, while grooming your dog is a great opportunity to tidy him up, you should also take the time to look for any rashes, red patches, or sore spots. Make sure their ears aren't odorous or overflowing with wax. After giving your pet a once over at home, visit the veterinarian if you have any concerns. Uncertain of your search criteria? For a brief summary of the conditions that boxer dogs can occasionally be prone to, scroll up. View of a boxer puppy's profile. Are boxer dogs good with kids and other animals? Particularly slightly older children who they can play with, boxers get along well with kids. Recall that boxers adore their pack just as much as they adore physical activity and entertainment, so anyone who can tag along is a success in their eyes. Of course, be careful around younger children as boxers are strong and could easily accidentally knock them over. No matter how lovable and sociable the kids are, you should always keep an eye on your boxer around them as you would any other dog. Boxer dogs get along well with other animals, including cats and other dogs. As adult boxers may find it more difficult to adjust, it is best to raise your boxer puppy alongside the animals you want them to befriend. Intriguingly, some pet owners have discovered that boxer dogs prefer to be around boxers of the opposite sex to those of their own. 